What is the O2 Max? The O2 Max is often used as a benchmark for assessing cardiorespiratory fitness and can be an indicator of overall health and performance. A higher VO2 max generally means a better aerobic fitness and cardiovascular health. VO2 max stands for maximum volume of oxygen. It's a measure of maximum amount of oxygen your body can use during exercise, which also indicates your aerobic fitness. This reflects how much oxygen your heart, lungs and muscles can efficiently absorb and use while you're exerting yourself. Right, so the V stands for volume, which refers to the amount of oxygen. The O2 stands for oxygen, the gas your body uses for energy. And max represents the maximum capacity of your body to utilize oxygen during intense exercise. The more oxygen you're able to inhale ultimately means the more energy your body has available to use. So a greater or higher VO2 max usually means better physical fitness. When you breathe, your lungs absorb oxygen and transport it to your red blood cells, which carry the oxygen to all your body's organs and muscles. Your muscle cells need oxygen to generate adenosine triphosphate or ATP for short. Adenosine triphosphate provides the main energy source your muscles need to do their work. The more oxygen you can breathe in equals, the more ATP your muscles produce. This creates the energy to fuel your muscles powering your workout and it's also the reason why you breathe faster while you're exercising. So for example, when I'm on my bike rides, I'll normally do bursts of let's say 100 meters, 200 meters, where I really do put the pedals down and really go as fast as I can. Then I'll slow down for 100 meters or so, or let's say 200 meters, take intake a load of air, the ATP will build up again, and then I'll have another blast and I'll go for another 200 meter sprint. How is VO2 max measured? The most accurate measurement of VO2 max will take place with an exercise and medicine technician under strict conditions and with special equipment. You'll be wearing a heart rate monitor and a special mask to record how much oxygen you're taking in and how much carbon dioxide you're exhaling while running on a treadmill riding a stationary bike or doing any other aerobic activity that gets your heart pumping. The intensity of the exercise will slowly increase until you're exercising at full capacity. A maximum level exercise test is intense, but relatively short, between 10 and 20 minutes in total. So once you know your VO2 max, you have a baseline from which you can improve on. The age, gender, elevation and activity levels are all aspects which could affect your VO2 max score. Just like many other things involving the human body, your VO2 max tends to decrease as you age. But it's possible to put this off and slow down the decline if you remain active by walking, jogging, running, or just doing regular exercise in general. Focus on improving your max readings over time. Increasing your VO2 max is associated with reduced risk of heart disease, diabetes, having a stroke, and yes, the big one. Also, a better fitness level is associated with a good quality life and better sleep overall. How to improve your VO2 max? You can start by getting your heart pumping. You can improve your VO2 max by doing any aerobic exercise that gets your heart pumping. The more vigorous, the better. If you're not currently active, walking could be enough to build improvements on your VO2 max score. You 
can include interval training. If you're already a very active person, try incorporating a few more high intensity interval training sessions. HIT is a fast and effective way to increase the O2 max, even if you're already a very active person. Try doing interval training session a few times a week, mixed in with slower, longer duration activities like swimming, biking, or a long jog. So if you're a regular swimmer and you like to go swimming, increase it by a couple of laps or a couple of lengths. Same with jogging, you'll increase it by a couple of miles. And how I would do it with biking, let's say I'd start with six miles, then I'd increase it to seven, increase it to nine, increase it to 12, increase it to 15. How it stands with the biking for me at the minute, I'm biking to work, so I'm doing 12 mile a day, five days a week. You could say this was overtraining, but I'm getting the adequate rest on the evening, getting the adequate sleep, I'm eating properly, and then over the weekend, I don't train at all. Lose weight. Because the VR2 max is measured relative to your weight, simply losing weight can boost the overall measurements and score. Switch up your workout routine. Your body is constantly adapting and adjusting. So I'll pull it under a bit more stress. If you're primarily a swimmer, try doing bike rides and vice versa. If you usually train at a slow, steady pace, try going a bit faster. If you normally work out for 30 minutes, try adding 10 more minutes to your routine. These small changes can force your body to work harder and adapt. Why is my VO2 max so low when I'm fit? A low VO2 max, despite being fit, could be due to a few factors. One possibility is that your body may not be adapting to the specific type of training you are doing. If you mostly do strength training, or activities that don't significantly challenge your cardiovascular system, your VO2 max might be lower than if it were training for endurance sports like running or cycling. What is a good resting heart rate? A normal resting heart rate for adults ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. Generally, a lower heart rate while resting signifies a more efficient heart function and better cardiovascular fitness. For example, a well-trained athlete or somebody working out cardio-wise on a regular basis might have a normal resting heart rate closer to 40 beats per minute which is much lower than the previously stated 60 to 100 beats per minute. How do I calculate my VO2 max? To calculate your VO2 max, you can use simple formulas or precise tests. A basic formula estimates VO2 max using heart rate. More accurate methods involve lactate threshold tests, or bleep tests, often performed in labs or using fitness trackers. Estimating your VO2 max. Start with the resting heart rate. Measure your pulse for 20 seconds. Multiply this by three to get your resting heart rate, which is beats per minute. Then you'll go on to estimate your maximum heart rate using the formula. 220, take away your age. Then the calculation will be, divide your maximum heart rate by your resting heart rate and multiply the result by 15.3. This gives you an estimated VO2 max. So we'll use this method to estimate mine as an example. 24 times three, 72 resting heart rate 220 take away the 44 equals 176 maximum heart rate 176 divided by 72 equals 2.44 2.44 times 15.3 equals 37.3 estimated vo2 max
So here's a few more numbers and what they suggest. We'll start from men. So a poor reading would be 30 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight. For a good reading, 30 to 40 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight. Above 35 milliliters per kilogram of weight would be considered fit. Here's the numbers and what you will suggest for women. A poor reading would be 25 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight per a minute. For a good reading, it would be 25 to 35 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of weight per a minute. And above 30 milliliters for a kilogram of weight per a minute would be considered fit. More precise methods of testing, a lactate threshold test, which is a laboratory test that measures your oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production during exercise, providing more accurate VO2 max measurements. Bleep test or shuttle runs. This involves running back and forth between two points as quick as possible with the speed of the bleeps increasing over time. The distance covered and the time taken are used to estimate the VO2 max. Fitness tracker. Some smartwatches and fitness trackers can estimate VO2 max based on your activity and heart rate data. Does drinking water improve VO2 max? A dehydration level of just 2 to 4% has been shown to reduce VO2 max and impair or mess with aerobic performance. Even a small amount of dehydration can have an effect. Just 1% can elevate the heart rate disproportionately and limit the body's ability to regulate your overall core temperature. What is an alarming resting heart rate? You should seek advice if your heart rate is consistently above 100 beats per minute or below 60 beats per minute and you're not an athlete. Also, if you're experiencing shortness of breath, fainting spells, feeling lightheaded or having dizziness. How do I lower my resting heart rate? To lower your resting heart rate, focus on regular exercise, a healthy diet, stress management and adequate sleep. Specifically, consider incorporating endurance activities like running or bike riding, along with strength training and yoga. Reducing stress through techniques like meditation or deep breathing and maintaining a healthy weight can also be beneficial. Here's a few pointers for a good VO2 max. Gradual progression. Start with shorter workouts and training and gradually increase the duration and intensity as you get fitter. Consistency. Regular training, even if it's just a few times a week, is key to seeing any improvements over time. Rest and recovery. Always allow adequate rest between high intensity interval training sessions or any other workouts to prevent overtraining and allow your body to adapt. Variety. Mix up your training with different activities and intensity to keep challenging the body while preventing plateaus. Weight management. Losing even a small amount of weight can positively impact your VO2 max as it's measured relative to your body weight. Get proper rest. Prioritize sufficient sleeping patterns, seven to nine hours, as it's crucial for recovery and overall fitness.
while it's good to be aware of potential factors affecting your VO2 max, remember that it's just one metric of fitness. There are plenty other factors to consider when you decide to keep in shape and stay fit. Focusing on your overall health, exercise and well-being is more important than chasing a specific VO2 max number. This video is just for that extra knowledge and wisdom. Have fun with your training, take your time, enjoy yourself overall, good luck. <laughs>